What's going on, Charles Botenston here. What we are gonna be talking about today, everyone loves hearing about mistakes or failures or things that they would change. So these are some, uh, first of all, you know, you hear it all the time. You know, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about how he's made so many mistakes in life. And for me, one of the biggest mistakes that I've made was that I thought I shouldn't make any mistakes, so I was trying to be perfect. And then when you're perfect, you overanalyze, and then you procrastinate, and then you never take action. And the reason being is that when you take action, when you put your video online, when you put your blog post up, when you open the website, that's where all the criticism, that's when all the feedback comes in. So as a fr not a, eh, maybe I was afraid of it, I had no idea because it was a couple of years ago, but that's, according to Steven Pressfield, is when you ship it, according to uh, Seth Godin. Seth Godin talks about it. He says, listen, when you ship your product, or as Steven Pressfield says, when you produce your book or when you create your book, that's when all the critical feedback comes back, as my microphone falls off my lap. I recently uh, hired two people, and actually, in the beginning, I hired more. However, it wasn't, I, I, what I thought I wanted was to expand the company instead of make more sales. You know, Jeff Bezos always talks about it. He said he, he only hired when necessary. Now he's a massive company, but he only hired when necessary. Gary Vaynerchuk is the opposite where he, he overhires and he's kind of let a bunch of people go, which kind of brings the morale down. However, mistakes that I've made is I've hi I hired too quickly, I kept them on, I spent too much money. So if you're starting a company right now, you don't need the best camera, you don't need that uh, virtual assistant or that assistant. Do all of the work in the beginning. Why? Because you want to test the market, number one. Number two is you don't want to drain your money on a new hire or the best equipment or the best laptop or office space. That was another mistake I, I did, which was buy ridiculous office, not buy, rent ridiculous office space. That's where all of my money went to in the beginning. And now uh, I noticed sales trumps everything. The top line is everything. You have to test it out. Is your product or your service viable for the marketplace? You know, the, what's that book out there? The, the, the least viable, I, I forgot the name of it, the, the, the lowest product that you can get out there, just get it out to the marketplace. Improve after that. Look at the GoPro. The GoPro in the beginning was bigger, it didn't have Wi-Fi, the battery went, there was no screen on the back. Look at the original one, look at the original iPhone. It's like, just ship it, just send it out. Of course you're gonna make mistakes. Additional mistakes that I, that I made, and I'll actually go back to the, to the cost thing too, is there's story after story of a startup that gets funding, you know, Series A or investing, or angel, I should say, angel, angel investing, and they overspend their money. They take the money that they get, say it's a million dollars, if it's on the low end, or $500,000, or even $100,000, and they'll have a blowout opening party. Or they'll, like I did, buy ridiculously expensive computers. I didn't need four brand new MacBooks, or four iMacs that were brand new. Like, I didn't need that. They all had their own laptop, they all could have came in, knowing that in the future they can upgrade, or that, you know, start in not the best office space, knowing in the future they have faith in you. That's why they came aboard. That's why they said yes to work with you, is that they had faith that in the future it's gonna get better. They had faith in the future that they're gonna be making more money. So what is what are other failures that I've done? You know, recently, let's just say when I make sales calls, I would have to refine the script because the script that I saw online wasn't really good. It was, it was geared towards houses instead of apartments. It was geared to someone that was not really giving value. It kind of went in. Uh, I went in, I read the script, and I got nothing. So it's really adjusting. You know, what's his name says, uh, Simon Sinek has an amazing example. And he says, when you see a goal, and you're not actually going like this to the goal, then you're doing it wrong. That means you're going, if this is the goal, that means you're going like this. You're going off course. And then what happens to the people that are off course? They become Circuit City, they become any of the retailers that are getting wiped out by Amazon. I don't blame Amazon. Amazon is like, you know, whatever billion they're making from retail, it has nothing to do with the overall marketplace of all of retail, okay? So Toys R Us, I think, just went you know, filed chapter 11 bankruptcy. So that's one of the things is that they didn't adjust. There's so many other stories. Blockbuster with Netflix. Toys R Us exclusively only sold their stuff on Amazon because they said people need that in-store experience. Well, how's that in-store experience happening now? So when you, when you have a mistake, 
All I can say is adjust. It's not a mistake. It's just feedback. This person hung up on me. I can either say, I'm crying. This is not good, blah, blah, blah. Or I can say, you know what? This is really good feedback. I'm going to adjust the script. I'm going to adjust the way that I approach my sales calls. I'm going to adjust because I see a lot of people buying online. I'm going to adjust in the real estate market and use video because that's where video is going. It has a 135% higher engagement rate. They said by 2019, I think it was either Cisco or uh, Google said by 2019, 80% of the world's content is going to be consumed via video. The world's content, 80%, not just America, the world. So if you're not on video, if you're not adjusting, you're out. You're going to get disrupted. So have an awesome day. Subscribe to the video. Leave your comments below. What are the mistakes that you've made or any future comments or questions or videos that you want to see? Have an awesome day. Subscribe to the video. Talk to you guys soon.